Obed Wunanu is an apprentice in the automobile spraying trade at Adabraka here in Accra. His job includes removing rust from vehicles, straightening of dents, sanding, cleaning, and priming. He and many other sprayers and carpenters conduct similar activities either by using substandard gears or without any protective gears. When you are spraying half showers, why not protect yourself with maybe looks marks? You can still get the same thing, kata and headache. The effect, as described by Obed, is not limited to them, but contributes to air pollution, which is inhaled by more than 5 million people in Accra and beyond. According to the acting director responsible for environmental quality issues at the Environmental Protection Agency, Emmanuel Apo, to ensure that pollution levels are reduced, the EPA is embarking on sensitization and enforcement of best practices. Once you have the atmosphere laden with dust, and then you have activities like burning and other things, smoking, emissions from vehicles, industry, they tend to accumulate, and then the cumulative effect is also very high. So we have to do our best to minimize emissions, control from sources, among others. So one of these control uh, measures we are putting is to educate the car spray facilities. And then those who also produce their caskets and then spray them. This is to enable light industrial activities like automobile sprayers and casket manufacturers to work in accordance with standards to protect the environment and public health. Acting Program Manager for Non-Communicable Diseases at the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Ifwa Kome, in an interview with the GNA of camera, noted that there had been a growing trend in chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases. So conditions such as asthma, um, COPD, chronic active uh, airway disease, all these diseases that people have when it's difficult for them to breathe. Okay. And it's a sign of the environmental pollution that we have. Very few of them might have genetic predisposition. Probably it's more common in their families. But beyond that, even our children, children in schools, more and more of them are getting a lot of asthma and difficulty breathing. Over 45,000 African children under the age of five die annually due to air pollution, which is one of the highest regional child mortality rates in the world. Scientific studies have shown that indoor and outdoor air pollution are currently the most significant environmental contributors to premature death in Africa outpacing that of malaria and HIV. This shows the need for governments, including Ghana, to prioritize concerns about air pollution as it's pressing.